hi everyone i hope you all are doing good so in my today's session i'm going to cover a typical error scenario which we will encounter while doing unit testing with the x unit okay so let's quickly go through that so what is that error scenario during unit testing we are trying to mock the http client factory dot create client method in asp.net core in order to mock the http operations okay so yes we are able to mock it no issues but after mocking it the code won't throw any compilation error but when the tests run basically we will end up with the following error so what is the error okay system dot not supported exception unsupported expression that's what http client factory gives the factory dot create a client what does it complain is the extension methods create client may not be used in this setup or verification expressions okay so on one hand it is saying that we can't support this kind of expression itself while mocking it basically okay we can't mock the create client method itself and also it is saying that you can't use it in verification or setup methods also okay but a big question mark if we are not able to mock the http client object itself then how will we verify how will we unit test our uh, proxy services or uh, external services which basically connect with external uh, web apis so there is a solution guys okay so the solution lies with the way we set up uh, the mock for this http client object okay so how we do that so first thing okay we have to create a mock for http message handler okay so why let me quickly go through that why we have to first mock http message handler okay <clears throat> so i have written a unit test for one of my service okay so it's called a uh, pan service uh, which basically goes to an external service with my user id and it will check whether i am registered with the policy and uh, whether i have accepted that policy or not okay some ad hoc service uh, just for demonstration purpose i am uh, giving that name okay so <coughs> if you see the setup that i am doing first of all i have created a request object for that and then when time comes to set up the http client what what was happening basically okay what i will do is for the time being uh, i will just remove this okay let's get rid of this and run the test see what happens so debug test so in spite of having everything set up properly okay the system is saying that unsupported expression okay that is create client uh, mock especially it says that ex extension methods of http client factory extensions dot create client may not be used in setup or verification expressions okay so if you have a look at this setup let me stop it okay so if you have a look here see what i'm doing is basically i am creating the http message handler mock okay the first thing i have to do uh, in order to create a mock object of my http client and why you may come up with a question we would have directly mocked the http client object using the mock of http client object equal to new mock of http client no guys it won't work out okay in order to mock an object okay either there should be an abstract class or interface which it implements basically okay so what are we going to do in this scenario is that now in order to mock http client if you go to the a definition of the http client object okay can you see okay the http client object is basically inheriting from http message invoker okay so first of all i can't see any interface being implemented by http client but it is inheriting from a http message invoker class let's see whether this http message invoker class is 
a kind of abstract class or it's a normal class no it's a normal class guys I can't make use of this class to mock okay HTTP client okay and most important thing being this HTTP message invoker class is that this method send async can you see this all of the HTTP client operations like get async okay put async post async delete async all these operations are basically wrapped over this implementation itself okay all those methods internally call this send async method to achieve all those standard HTTP verb based operations okay so always remember so now there is no interface there is no abstract class so how can I basically create a mock for this send async method because this is the method internally being used in order to perform most of the HTTP client operations okay so let's go back I will close this now let's go through once again the definition of HTTP client okay so go to definition can you see the constructor a HTTP client can be constructed using a parameterless constructor but there is also an option to supply a HTTP message handler additionally okay now if I go to the definition of this HTTP message handler go to definition can you see yes my requirement is satisfied because HTTP message handler is an abstract class and whatever HTTP message invoker that we saw previously which was just a concrete class basically inheriting the HTTP message handler so send async method okay or it is basically making use of this HTTP message handler to send async method to achieve the send async operation at the HTTP client level. Okay, so what I've got is now I got an abstract class and that abstract class is basically providing me a contract of send async method. So what I have to do is in order to achieve most of my HTTP client based operations okay all the standard HTTP word based operations I have to first mock this abstract class HTTP message handler so that's what I'm doing here so what I did is first I created a mock of HTTP message handler okay then I call the protected version over here enables protected setups for the mock okay uh, from the X unit side so now what I'm doing is in the setup okay I am specifying basically the send async method returns a task of HTTP response message okay so if I quickly go to that once again for a demonstration purpose so go to definition mm, yeah it is basically returning task of HTTP response message for this HTTP request message okay so if you go here what you have to do in the setup basically first of all it should return return a task of HTTP response message because everything happens asynchronously okay now for the expression side what I have done is whatever the HTTP request message is okay that's why I have used the is any expression but you are free to check for specific parts of your HTTP request message by using it dot expression dot is and then passing a lambda expression for checking or checking for some conditions of specific parts of your request message it's up to you for me this satisfied my need okay then any kind of cancellation token okay so what I'm doing written asynchronously I'm going to receive okay a HTTP request message and a cancellation token which is being passed from send async then I'm constructing a HTTP response message okay and then I'm setting the content of string content in order to emulate the HTTP response being written from the HTTP operation okay now once <clears throat> my mock HTTP message handlers setup has been completed especially for this send async method which basically does all of the HTTP uh, verb based operations what I'm going to do now for the HTTP client object in my test class X unit test class I'm passing the mock HTTP message handler object okay so what I have done basically I have achieved the mock behavior of my HTTP client object using the HTTP message handler okay now I'm going to do a setup 
okay that is this dot mock HTTP client factory dot setup uh, variable gives variable dot create client but still it won't work because the problem being is that internally if you go to this create client the default uh, implementation of create client if you go to the uh, sorry definition uh, let me quickly take you to the definition can you see it is basically coming from an extension class okay and if you see the create client basically what it is doing is it is being an extension method to your i http client factory and when you go to the definition of i http client factory you see that basically create client is ex expecting a string that is a name of the client a named http client but asp.net core gives us multiple options to create a http client object it may be a named object it may be a default object it may be a custom uh, proxy client object that you are creating for application okay but internally this is the method which is being called so again i found one more interface called this one and now what i have to do is i have to mock create client method which basically accepting a string okay so what i'm going to do is as part of this simple fix go back i am going to see a control search yes simply i will specify that let the create a client accept any string it may be null empty whatever okay the moment i add okay this particular parameter okay to this create client method okay now if i say for example go to definition now it will straight away take me to i http client factory okay that is the actual method which is being called so this is what i wanted to achieve here so once this setup has been done now i will run my tests and let's see what happens so i run my test so see guys this time i didn't receive any error for my http client object sorry the mock object creation it succeeded now if i if i continue with my test that is in the act phase let's do a f10 okay it is here let me stop there so now i'm able to perfectly uh, yeah emulate my http client object can you see okay i got the response uh, for the request that i had sent over here and i can i can check the various uh, uh, attributes available on my response now can you see I, I want to check for has accepted yes it is saying true then i can check whether how many times basically my http client factory is create client method called it should be called once because i used only one object that also will succeed and then uh, other services that i would like to check okay so if i continue ideally i should get a success uh, successful test run okay. so if you see see my test has been succeeded okay so that's what i was explaining in this particular pdf so what would be the solution the solution is this http message handler abstract base class should be mocked and it should be mocked in such a way that you need to set up okay a protected setup on your http message handler okay and the most important method that needs to be set up is send async because this is the method which does most of the http operations on your http client in asp.net core okay so set whatever expression for the request message cancellation token you would like to set and then also specify the stub okay what you needs to be returned when your mock is called so what is being returned in my case i returned a I constructed a response message object. I set some content of string content for some object and then I returned the response. And then what I did is basically I constructed a client object by injecting this mock object into its constructor. Okay. And then I set up the actual create client method of my HTTP client factory and also the most important part being this parameter of string type to my create client method with this setup i hope uh, you will be able to uh, test your proxy uh, clients i can say which are used to communicate with external web apis in your application okay hope uh, this explanation is clear and you would have understood how to get rid of this kind of error which basically happens when creating a 
create when creating a mock for the HTTP client factory is HTTP client object basically okay thank you for listening and uh, have a nice day guys